Good morning, good morning. Hey there, YouTube fam. William Cody on day two of the Trevor Bazil search. And we are at the exact spot where Trevor Bazil parked his car. His car vehicle was found right here. This is the Miller Wash. So today we're gonna to go up this road. I have the exact GPS coordinates and we're gonna go right to where his bucket, we're gonna go from his car to his bucket to his towel. I have the GPS coordinates on all three of those from the search and rescue and from the sheriff's department. So his vehicle is parked right here and we actually camped here last night. We're gonna be camping here again and um there's the lost one rig and we're up early this morning so we can beat the wind the wind has been wicked out here so today we're up super early at the crack of dawn got my coffee and we're about to do get into this search hard we're excited this morning we're feeling good i got everything packed up ready to go survival gear and uh Yesterday we had a very strange encounter. We saw wild horses for one, and that was really cool. And uh, but I unfortunately I whipped the camera out and tried to take a quick video, and it ended up being a horrible video with wind and sideways and everything else. So, but good morning. I got to tell you about something. And this is another little piece of the puzzle that we can add to the case here. Um, so we're here in Panaca, Nevada. All right, and uh, I grew up a bow hunter and I know a lot about wild hogs and you guys ain't gonna believe this and my hand to God we encountered a huge wild boar hog yesterday in Nevada so <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is a, a pinned pig that got loose but this is definitely something that we can add to the evidence of the case um, was Trevor Bazil running from a you know a large wild boar hog which they're very territorial and this one was just as surprised to see us as we were to see him. Um, it, we came across it in, in a trail, and he ran right by and saw us, and it pew, took off. But, I mean, he was a couple hundred pound boar hog in Nevada. Now, I know a lot about hunting, and, uh, man, I thought I, I would have never guessed to encounter a boar hog in Nevada. Um, and this is a strange place. You know, it's kind of got that hills have eyes feel. Um, and I know I've been studying up on... You know, this is a stretch, but, uh, you know, skinwalkers and how they can take the form of, of animals that aren't usually uh, <clears throat> normal to that area. So, um, you got me thinking a little bit. I'm telling you, there's, it's an eerie feeling out here. We're out here in the middle of the Nevada desert. As you can see, it's just red hills and dirt and be a good place to get lost. So, we're going to be very careful today. I'm strapped up and wrapped up and ready to go. I got my mace, got a, a SOG sword. Um, uh, got the, the camera equipment ready. I got this new camera set up, so hopefully these videos are getting a little better. Um, I, I have decided that I'm only going to do videos when it's not windy, so it's not super annoying. I know those videos are horrible when the wind's blasting. So, um, but we're about to get started on this search. We got about five miles. I have the GPS coordinates programmed that we're going to go where Trevor Bazil's bucket of rocks was found. So his the bucket of rocks was found in one coordinate and then just a little while up the way his towel was found so we're going to go right to the bucket but we're going to backtrack from his car to the bucket maybe he was trying to get back to his car and we're going to zigzag the whole way all the way there uh, searching this entire roadside um, all the way there so after we clear the bucket area and then the towel area we'll slowly keep expanding our search in this general coordinate so that's the plan for today. I had to let y'all know about the wild hogs. Um, maybe you sluice can uh, kind of put that into the evidence. Maybe, you know, who knows? Maybe he, a hog was chasing him and he ran and it was hot and he was hiding. You know, who knows? But it, it's very strange to encounter a wild boar hog in Nevada, I must say. It's uh, something I wasn't expecting. So we're going to be on high alert today. I'm going to be real careful with the dogs. And um, God bless and hit that like and subscribe if you can. And uh, maybe I'll come back this evening if anything good happens, and I'll let you know how the search went. So uh, appreciate you watching, and stay tuned. It's going to be good. For, we're going to run into some good stuff, I promise. And I'll have the cameras ready. 
There's the girls, look at them. There's the Carga. There's Zoom. There's Nipsey. You guys ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Who's ready? Who's gonna find it? Who's gonna find it? So as you can see, the dogs have been fed and just as excited as I am to get this search going. But it's some beautiful country, y'all. Uh. Down there in the distance, I don't know if you can see, that's Pan Panica, Nevada, that way down there in the distance. So, I mean, he could easily have gone down these washes, all tried to get to town, maybe, or get to water. Sorry, the girls are battling a little bit this morning. They're so excited. Zuma's ready to get after it, aren't you? Good girl. So, that got pent up energy. But I'm just going to show you around this country here. Supposedly, Trevor Bazil's car was parked right here on this road. And he got out of his car and walked right up this road five miles. And that's where his bucket and tower are found. And I got to say, you know, five miles in August in 100 plus heat. Um, and, and, he, and supposedly he just brought one little bit of water. You know, I could see how he could get heat stroke or heat stricken and get delirious and, and, and just ve veer off the path. And uh, maybe get up under, you know, a tree or some rock and try to stay cool and then expire, dehydrate, something like that. Um, so we're going to be real methodical with this search. And uh, we're going to work, I think, until lunchtime and come back. And then we'll do another search all the way till dark. So hopefully I'll have another video for you. We'll get some action. I'm going to have my camera ready because that hog popped out real quick and then went, disappeared and I wasn't ready with the camera fast enough and like I said I'm still shocked to see a wild big old wild boar hog in the hills of Nevada I mean this straight up could be a set from the hills have eyes I don't know if y'all know that creepy movie but that's the vibe I get out here but it's a beautiful morning here and we're gonna beat this weather there's supposed to be a little bit of weather rolling in but we're not worried about it we're going to be within 10 miles of this truck, so we're on Miller Wash. And this is right where Trevor Brazil was parked. The exact spot. So if you guys have any comments or ideas, please drop it below. I love to hear what you guys have to say and your thoughts and maybe theories. But this is it. This is the terrain we're working with. So luckily the rattlesnakes are sleeping. You know, it's winter time, so there's a lot less foliage out here on the trees. So that gives us an advantage as to working in the summer. With these cool temperatures, we'll be able to clear this whole area fast. I have a good feeling about today. So stay tuned. I appreciate you viewing the lost ones. Look at that beautiful mountain in the background. But thanks for watching. I'll be in touch.